We're here tonight with my best friend. I mean, me and this individual go way back. I mean, we go back to the days of grits and shrimp. Um, what's your name again? <laughs> childhood childhood well I was raised by a uh, I was raised by a very unique man he was a he was the president of our local steelworkers union you see yes, yes. Um, but he was a, raised in the depression he came up the depression he was a very violent 1930 he was born in 1930 and uh, saw a lot of pain a lot of starvation a lot of trouble in his childhood uh, became a steelworkers union president had a lot of death threats got stabbed once in Atlantic City um, Are you talking about Malcolm X? Um, so, so the old man was, uh, was, was kind of a, a crazy sort of, uh, he was a very, very altruistic sort of guy, but he, was, he had a violent life, you know? Altruistic? So you've been to college, I see. I have, I have indeed. Hey, now, you, did you strip like the rest of your cousins? I don't like to talk about that period of my life that much. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, I, I, we had an agreement. I mean, that's what we're here for. We want to know about the stripping episode. Look, but if you don't want to look, talk about look, it, look, tell us about. If this us. is off the record, like before I came, on, before I agreed to come on the show, your people in the back agreed that we would not talk about my stripping career, and I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay. Okay. No All stripping. Right. Okay. Tell me about the circus and <laughs> the elephant lady. I want to know that story. The circus and the elephant lady, and does she have that many heads? Okay, well, Juniata um, really didn't like being called the elephant lady. Um, she understood that she had to for her public profile, for her life, for her life. How did you fall in love with her, though? I read, your no I read your blog on MySpace. How did you fall in love with the elephant lady from the circus? Juniata had such a beautiful soul. Such a beautiful, beautiful soul. Soul. I, I can't. It's okay. The thing is, the thing is that they called her Elephant Lady, <laughs> but she was, she was, she was so beautiful on the inside. Here, dog. Here. Thank you. Thank you. You all right? No, it's fine. It's it's way in my past. I really. I mean, you got to pull your skirt up on the show, dog. You can't okay, just really. I mean, let it out like that, baby. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a lot of people. Well, you, 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 you surprised me with the whole. I didn't even know you knew about Juliana. Hey, I, I, hey, we know hey, about Juliana. <laughs> a fourteen-year-old's first love is sacred, I think. Yeah. Now, but I want to know. I heard that we they were following you on Twitter. And you've been to some amazing places. I mean, let, tell the viewers about some of the amazing places you've been. Well, I actually, this is actually pretty good. I think the most amazing place I've ever been was Chihuahua, Me Mexico. Um, <laughs> Dude, I just got a free shower. That's beautiful. Um, in Chihuahua, in the part of Chihuahua I was. <laughs> OK, go ahead. I'm back, I'm back. In the part of Chihuahua where I was, where I was living, in, in, Creole, in Creole Batopilas, um, uh, the, uh, the Taramara Indians are um, about 70% of the population. They don't speak Spanish, they speak oh, Romari. Sorry. And uh, they're the fastest runners in the world. Best story, I'll tell you a great story. Okay. I was talking with a uh, chief. I lost it for a minute. I think somebody uh, put something in my drink. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm yeah, sorry. he puts whiskey in your drink. Yeah, um, geez. I'm a cheetah now. Tell us about the Tatamata Cheetah. Well, he was telling me this great story about the 1976 Mexican Olympics. In 1976, Mexico, of course, hosted the Olympics. The Tatamata are widely reputed as the greatest distance runners in the world. Now, I thought that was the, um, the Nigerians. No, it's the Tatamata. The Tatamata. The Tatamata. Now, I want to understand why Africans cannot have anything without the Tatamata come and try to take title. Now, I want to understand that why these Tatamatas are running with these sandals made out of tires with thongs get all this publicity when the Zulus, when Shaka was involved, had no shoes running barefoot through the tundra. Tundra? The African tundra? The African tundra. <laughs> The African tundra. Okay. Yeah, taking over shit. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Now I now I heard that your mother is African American. Um, I feel like we all come from Africa, really. But um, I'll leave it at that. 
I think we're all African American. Yeah. Now, how was that growing up, being black? Being black, being black in a white face was was traumatic. I think. I, I think the, the hardest thing was when my school friends, my chums at school. Chums. Chums. Yes, because I was raised white, you know. Right. Oh, so like chums was the word. When I had my, my chums. Chums was the word. My chums at school uh, would, would constantly make make these these uh, these off color jokes, these references. <laughs> Don't spit on my waffles. I'm sorry. These, these references. That was good. Okay, that was good. I might need new waffles, dude. He totally spit on them. Okay. Uh, the, these references to uh, to uh, people of color as as being less than them, or or you know spear shakers, these sorts of things. <laughs> spear shakers. Spear shakers. Because um, I grew up in a very rural area, but <laughs> they didn't know I was black, and that was really hard for me. I think. I, I think. Uh, now, did you ever want to like just bring your spirit out and let them know that you were? A Here's the thing: in, in tenth grade, Todd Zimmerman and I had a fight. We had a fist fight, and um, and it became sort of. It became intense. Okay. And, and I I don't know if Todd's gay now, but. I mean, did you shoot the fair one? <laughs> what? Was you're that? black. You need to know. Shoot the fair one. Station break, colloquial term, shoot the fair one, have a fight, one-on-one, -on -one, two individuals in a park, in a place of designation that you decide. So Todd Zimmerman and I got into a scuffle. I, the thing is, he was making some off-color remarks, he was saying some things, he had some jokes, you know, things, stupid Tony, things. how did you feel when they were talking about your people? I was overcome with rage to the point where I actually literally saw red. Now, a lot of people don't get to say that, but I literally saw red. And the next thing I knew, Todd Zimmerman was in a pool on the ground and I was just punching and punching. And I said to him, Todd, don't you know I'm black? It was no, it's an emotional right here, time, right here, man. Right All right, bro, bro. All right. Black love, man. All right, bro. I think I lost my technical difficulties for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have been talking with the Black Illuminati. I want to thank you for tuning in. We'll be back next week with Aurora Bani Kanadi Sinana, the Indian belly dancer from Nigeria. And, and Desmond Tutu's son, Desmond Tutu the second. And Desmond Tutu son, Desmond Tutu the second. But also tonight, called Desmond Tutu too. Des, but tonight we've been with Noriega, the Black Illuminati. Thanks for coming out. Nice meeting you. Enjoy yourself. your free waffles. Only the way a brother can do it. Thanks Thank for coming you much. out, brother. Good to see you. It brother. was real.